welcome to my historical recipes. Vinidarius was a Goth who lives in the 5th century in Italy. And what is rare for these times that are also branded as the Dark Ages is that he left us with a small collection of recipes. The transition from the Roman Empire to the Middle Ages is a time that has been branded as the Dark Ages due to a decrease of written sources. This perception is not entirely correct and dates from a time when historians divided periods into good and bad dark periods, which often was simply based on the availability of sources. Now, these recipes are rather heavily on the meaty or fishy side. They don't feature many vegetables. And I have chosen one of these meat dishes for you. Vinidarius actually thought of braising a whole suckling pig. I'm not going to do this. I have chosen pork cutlets. Let's have a look at the ingredients. Now, as uh, Vinidarius gives the ingredients for an entire suckling pig, I had to reduce the amounts a little. He talks of 50 peppercorns, some dried or fresh coriander. This is dried coriander. Um, then liquamen. Now it has been thought for a long time that liquamen and garum actually are the same thing, fish cells. But it seems that liquamen is used quite differently and can mean any kind of salty liquid because there's also a recipe for liquamen uh, uh, made from other ingredi ingredients. And it seems that in this late period it actually rather means means broth, a meat broth. So I've prepared already a meat broth, one cup. Olive oil, one onion, honey, and of course, pork chops. Now, uh, these recipes from Vinidarius, they are, most of them are quite simple. They use an abundant amount of spices, but their preparation is rather, yeah, Simple. First, we start by chopping the onion. We put that already into the pan because the meat is going to be cooked in the marinade in which it, it first is uh, marinated. Then we add one cup of meat broth and olive oil. The original recipe speaks of half a liter of olive oil. Uh, that's of course for a whole suckling pig, So, but I think it should have a good amount of olive oil, something like this. Honey, as much as required. Well, that's hard to say if you don't know the dish and how sweet it is supposed to be. But given that most ancient recipes really love their sweet tastes with meat, I think we can safely go for a, for a couple of spoons. Voila. Then a lot of pepper. I didn't count the peppercorns as Vinidadio did. But I think it should be well peppered, a little more even. And last but not least, coriander greens, cilantro, dried or fresh. Mix the whole thing and then we so, Give the pork chops inside. Make sure they are covered and get marinated from all sides. And then we cover them, leave them to marinate for a couple of hours and afterwards they are braised in its own marinade.
The meat simmered slowly in its own marinade until it was reduced and that took about 45 minutes. Well, and what should I say? It's so tasty, my family asked me to cook it more often. 